Vocab lesson three, multiplying and dividing integers. Different rules than for adding and subtracting. So same signs, positive. So if you have a positive times a positive, the answer is a positive. If you have a negative times a negative, the answer is still positive. So in multiplication and division, two negatives make a positive. So you have two examples here. Negative 9 divided by negative 5 is positive 45. I think I said divided by negative 9 times negative 5, excuse me. And then right here, negative 72 divided by negative 8. Remember that fraction means divide is positive 9. So same signs gives you a positive answer. And then different signs gives you a negative answer. So if you have a negative times a positive, it's a negative, and if you have a positive times a negative, it's a negative. So here we have negative 9 times positive 5 is negative 45, and then positive 72 divided by negative 8 equals negative 9. So one negative makes it stay negative. The other way you can use is this uh, triangle here. So if we had negative 9 times negative 5, I would say negative times a negative gives me a positive answer. So I would know that it'd be positive 45. So you can always use that triangle and it's really easy to just draw real quick on your paper, plus, minus, minus, and then it helps you remember. But again, this only works for multiplication and division. And then also included in this resource sheet is a multiplication table. So you guys can use the multiplication table as needed. This can also be used for division. So I wanted to show you how you could use it for division. So if we had the problem, let's just say 48 divided by six, what you would wanna do is you'd wanna go to row six. So in this row, we'd wanna find six, which is right here. And then we'd want to scan all the way down until we got to 48. So 48 is right here. So then our answer would be the column that it's in. So I would know that 48 divided by 6 equals 8. So that's how you can use the multiplication table for division. So that might be helpful for you in the future or while we're practicing today. So you have access to this in your resource document. Now you are able to go and watch the instructional video for today.